Hello everyone and welcome to Marvelous Designer for Beginner series. Thanks to one of my Patreon members, in this video I would like to clarify and explain the difference between the Mirror Paste tool, Instance Pattern tool and Symmetry Pattern tool. They all seem to be duplicating the outline pattern just like a normal copy paste tool. So I thought I would publish this short video and show you the difference and prove that all three tools can be very helpful if applied at the right time. Let's get started. There is no scene file, so feel free to start from a brand new scene. I'm going to use a rectangle outline pattern to create something. I would like to have something as my case study and then show you the difference. Really quickly, I'm going to go to, to edit pattern, select the top segment, and then I'm going to go to edit point and create a point in the middle using uniform split. Switching back to edit pattern, selecting the segment holding down shift and moving this up would like to have a little bit of curvature on the side so smooth curve will get that job done for me perfect i also want to create some sort of an indentation here so to do that i'm going to go to edit point and right click on this segment here uniform split and increase that to five then switching back to edit pattern selecting this area and moving it back so we have that indentation all right i have something to work with and honestly i don't know what that is but it gives me an excuse to exactly show you the difference between these tools now let's get to the point um, the first one is simply Control c Control v and that creates the exact same result that we already established the next one is to right click and go mirror paste which is control r and that is going to create a mirrored version now please note that these two are not linked so if i select this top one and try to move it you can see the mirrored version is not responding to that uh, it is good when you would like to let's say create a blouse, um, a pair of trousers, when you finish something and you're 100% certain that everything is finalized and you want to just move everything to the other side, um, knowing that the changes have been made and you don't need to change anything further. So save a lot of time by mirroring in the opposite axis. And that's what mirror paste does and it's very, very common can press Control C and Control R and you can now see from the mirrored version we have a mirrored version which is similar to our original version so that's um, how you use mirror paste now let's have a look at another tool which is very similar to mirror paste I'm going to press Ctrl C, right click, and this time I'm going to choose Symmetric Pattern. You can see, uh, first glance, Symmetric Pattern does exactly that. Now, you can see that if I zoom in, there is a line in there. Another indication is, when I select the original or the source pattern, the target pattern gets blue uh, stroke around it if you can see it closely I can probably switch to single pane and change that one to 2d pattern window so you guys can see it better so you can see that line around the object we did not have that with a normal mirror paste this is a normal mirror paste and you can see why I select it there is no blue stroke around the fabric or around the patch now that indicates that these two are connected and this line is um, a sort of a visual indication for you to know that if you make a change on your source pattern uh, your target pattern will also change so if i go in here and go to edit pattern and select that 
and start moving it, you can see the pattern on the opposite side will react to it. Now, the way that it's going to react to it is if you move this point in a positive X, the target patch will move to the opposite side. So that's very important to be mindful of. Uh, we have a concept in rigging behavior and parallel where one goes with the point, the other one goes to the opposite side. It is the opposite side. So I get close, it gets closer, I get far away and it gets far away. Um, and that again is very, very useful when you want to create half of the dress and paste it to the other side. So you symmetry pattern paste it, knowing that there might be some possible changes. That's the key difference between symmetry tool and mirror paste tool. All right, let's have a look at the last one on the list. I'm going to undo. Now, with that, I don't need to copy anything. I'm just gonna go instant pattern. Now, instant pattern is very similar to paste. It's a combination of symmetric tool and a copy paste tool. With that, I can go into edit pattern, select it, and it's still connected, but you can see once I move it, the point does not go to the opposite side, so it doesn't get close to the point. It actually follows exactly the same direction. It, in a sense, it mirrors it. Um, it copies the movement of the selected point. So that's what instance does. It's like an exact duplicate of your source fabric but it's an instance. So that link is a visual indication that there's a link between the target and the source. I'm going to undo. Just like symmetry, the way that you break this connection is by right clicking on it and you go to remove linked editing. If you click away, now it's just a duplicate of the source fabric and there is no link between them. If I select this guy and try to move it to the other side, you can see the other patch is completely inactive. Now, hopefully that should give you a little bit of indication on when and how you should use these three tools. I use instance when I know that I will be having multiple patches and those patches will need to get connected together or you need to possibly move one. Every other patch should follow exactly the same direction. I remember I made a tutorial on how to create a baseball hat and I used exactly the same method. Just keep that in mind. As soon as you start tweaking the linked fabric, you lose that connection. So you won't be able to make changes and see the difference anymore because those two objects are not uh, identical anymore. Something to be mindful of. All right, let's end the tutorial right here. I promised short tutorial, which is ideally under 10 minutes. I hope you found this video useful. Until the next one, keep your questions coming and I would be thrilled to clarify on tools, answer questions, so on and so forth. Have a great rest of your day. Talk to you guys soon.